were off to jail to see what effect acting can have on the hard cases inside. A prison theatre troupe in Berlin shows us that it's not just about tilting at windmills. Berlin's Tegel prison is the largest in Germany. The prisoners' theatre troupe is rehearsing. Director Peter Asenov has bad news. Khaled is no longer here. He's being transferred. He's going somewhere else. He's leaving Tegel. One of the leading performers has dropped out, an everyday occurrence for the director and his Aufbruch theatre group. Atanasov has been performing pieces with prisoners for 10 years. It's not therapy. These tough men are dealing with challenging material. This time, the subject is Don Quixote, a collage using the original text and commentaries on it, from Heine Müller to Nietzsche. Thanks, everyone. Stop. Exit, and the others sit down. Stay there. Don't just do anything. You have to deal with your stick. Remember your lines. It's all about imagination. Inmates as actors. Unlike professionals, when they act, they also reveal something about themselves. Actors have the tools of their trade, so they can deliver their lines better and hide a lot to protect themselves, and in doing so, not reveal anything about themselves. These men don't have that. So with them, the problem is to make the piece understandable in the first place, to work on their lines. But when they reach the point where they reveal something of themselves, it's very intense and often very pure. Kurt Lummert has been acting for eight years. He's serving a life sentence. He identifies completely with his role as Sancho Panza. To be really honest, I drank for 20 years, and it's an amazing feeling to be able to cope with all the singing and lines and everything I have to do. It's great that I can actually hack it. It's also quite a risk exposing themselves to the eyes of the other prisoners, especially when, like Junet, they're playing a woman. If I worried about what everyone thought of me, it wouldn't get me anywhere. I'd be too uptight to play the role at all. So I block it out completely. I'm only serving a certain amount of time here. I'll get out again, and if I keep that in mind, I don't care what the people here think. It means surviving embarrassment and seven weeks of rehearsal with conflicts and frustration. But the inmates who stick with it know what theater means to them. Knowing from the start that only audiences from outside come to see the play makes me feel I have a bit of respect again, that I'm not completely shut off from society. And it's good to forget the feeling of isolation for a moment. Dress rehearsals before an invited audience. The regular performances have long been sold out. It's exciting to look behind walls into a normally inaccessible world and forget the cliches about convicts. Don Quixote, the destitute knight who has a world of his own in his mind, fails in the real world like many of the prisoners. That decision, when I get out of here, I'll do such and such, I'll go here or there, do this or that, buy this or that, and I'll solve that problem and the next one, and then all this will never happen to me again. That sort of quixotic, wildly idealistic thinking results from when you've been shut off from real life for a long time. Recently, Aufbruch won the George Tabori Prize for its prison project. It was also a success for the participants. I don't think acting is a test of courage, but you do need a lot of strength, and that boosts your self-confidence. When the performances are over, you really notice it. There's a sort of emptiness and something's missing. Theatre with non-professional actors is booming. 
But this production of Don Quixote has a special sort of excitement to offer. The windmills the prisoners are tilting at are, in reality, their own prison walls. 